So, here we are in Poundland in Norwich. We're currently looking at the Father's Day items. Um, obviously, Father's Day is um, coming. Um, next, we are in the um, beauty aisle. Um, ha don't buy a lot of beauty from Poundland. Um, my beauty usually comes from Home Bargains and b and M, but they do have makeup, face masks, false nails, um, and for a pound, you can't really go wrong, can you? Um, cheaper, obviously, than Primark, and you cannot be a bargain, basically. Um, they had that perfume range in there. Um, they've got new bows in there. They've got all kind of little mystery bags at the top. If you just saw, they're all like pound mystery bags with different makeup in. Nipple tassels, clothing shields and stuff. For party season coming back out, you'll be able to wear your nipple shields and your fancy dresses. Um, moving on, more hair and body stuff, fragrances, bath bombs. Both for men and women, I do like the fact that Poundland do a good choice of men and women stuff, unlike some places where they concentrate on just women, the men get a pretty good deal as well. Links for £2 isn't a bad deal. Um, basically, Father's Day was coming up and they were obviously going to push all the Father's Day stuff, sun care as you just saw. Plasters, you know, kids are nigh on trouble for falling over and accidents during the summer out on their scooters, their skateboards, down the park, and that kind of thing. Um, this is Poundland in Norwich in um, Castle Mall, just in case you're wondering. Plenty of different makeup, some of the gypsy wear there above where you get the little gems and you stick on you. Face cloths, which are more cost effective than using face wipes like a flannel. You just take your makeup off with them, throw them in the wash, and then do it again. It does save the environment by not using wipes, obviously. Um, next, we have their makeup gallery, which I never have bought anything from. Uh, if I was going to buy makeup, I think I'd go to Boots or somewhere like that. Then they have their whole homeware range where they have towels, bath stuff, um, pillows, you can see candles in a minute, diffusers. Very eclectic, I must admit. Their homeware is a very eclectic taste, the, the frilly pillows. and But these were quite cool if you like the diamond encrusted kind of rhinestone look. Um, not really for me. It's all a bit kind of home decor being in Chelsea kind of fancy wear but the little ferns are quite cute um, and the mirrors were quite cute they were plastic mirrors um, depending on your budget Poundland can be a great place for a starter home get little bits to decor and get little bits to decorate it with the ferns were quite cute they was three pounds um, I've actually got to buy a fern for my house from Tesco's. My and my son buy one every year now that I'm in my new flat. Um, it's become our thing. But yeah, they did money boxes, storage boxes, photo frames. And then my personal favourite is the candle and diffuser section. Which I absolutely love candles. Every time I go out to B&M, Poundland, Home Bargain, I come home with candles read diffusers and they had quite a lot going on there um candles are probably my favorite i do have read diffusers in every room that i have um and these were quite cool these were like the replacement oils for like oil burners um if you're not a wax burner or fan you can use oil burners um or if you don't like oil burners you can um use read diffusers where you burn them um, or incense sticks where you burn them and read diffusers um, where you just put them in your living room and they were so pretty the packaging was so well thought out of they were pretty there you have your little um, incense sticks which are kind of cute um, but they had plenty of choice and for a pound they were a bargain absolute bargain wax melts for a pound as well there's my personal favorite tipsy plum has a really nice, sweet, fruity aroma. Um, 
And then obviously other stuff that I like are reed diffusers, as you can see. This one's probably wild berry, yeah. I have a candle in the same scent that I bought from one below. Um, so they all value, the value is there for a candle, a reed diffuser. They do have more expensive ones. Um, there were more fancy ones. You can also get pillar candles for a pound, depending on your candle preference. Um, but it was really, I wouldn't say it was busy in Norwich, it was kind of hit or miss. Poundland seems to not be as busy as it used to be, and that is probably because every item isn't a pound anymore. I think it's lost its oomph now that items aren't a pound anymore. I mean, they're like two, three, four, some are a fiver. I think Poundland has kind of, I was trying to hide the child there, if you saw the finger over the screen, I was trying not to get the child in. Um, I don't like to film people's children's, I don't mind filming adults when I'm out, but I don't like filming children. Um, here we have the sandals, they also have a Petco section in the Norwich one. Quite a few of them have a Petco section now. The one in Kings Lynn that I go to doesn't, but the one in Kings Lynn that's on the Hardwick estate does. So not every store has a Petco. Mainly Petco is more, I say, geared towards women, like leggings, little strappy tops, um, pyjama sets. I actually bought my slippers at Christmas time from Poundland. Um, they had some really cute items, just nothing that really made me want to buy it, if I'm honest. But it was, for a, what, a Friday in Norwich, it was pretty dead. Um, like I said, I think Poundland's lost all its, um, and the toys, not every item in the toy line is a pound, and I used to love it as a child, they'd give you a pocket money, you'd run to Poundland and you'd spend all your pocket money, because every item was a pound, and you could get a lot for a pound back in that day, and now they're like two, three, some of the toys are a fiver, so, I mean, 90, I would say a good 90% of the toys are still a pound. Um, but they do have, unfortunately, um, gone up in price with everything. This was kind of cute. This little Disney shirt was kind of cute. And I think it says eight pound. It was six or eight. It's hard to tell. Um, not a big Disney fan, but Disney seems to be in Primark, Petco. It seems to be everywhere. It's... Disney's one of them things that every store seems to have. Comfy, fluffy slippers. I liked the teal ones. I thought they were kind of cute. Missing me there. Whoa. Trying to avoid filming people. These were quite cool. These were the cloud um, shirts. They also had matching trousers. So if you wanted to walk around like a little cloud, um, entirely up to you. They had plenty of little toys, they had the Lego toys, um, Playmobil toys, Fortnite little figures, and they were all a pound. I thought they were quite cute, but unfortunately my boys are now too old for toys, so I don't have um, a need to buy them anymore. Um, but you get grab and go packs there where you can take your Fisher Price little toys with you on holiday maybe. Um, Hot Wheels, obviously, um, and moving on around, um, trying to avoid staff as much as possible because I know staff don't like you filming, um, they don't like you showing the stores. These were kind of cute, these were for your pooches, um, they were basically chews and little pet bowls. Um, I do have a cat that lives with my ex, um, he's called Midnight and I love him dearly. And every time I go down the pet aisle, um, I feel so guilty. <laughs> and I have to take him treats when I see him to make myself feel better. But I do see him. He's finding it really hot at the minute. He's black. And with it being like 25 degrees, apparently he's not enjoying it. And it actually makes him quite sick. Um, and he throws up quite a lot, which is terrible. But make sure you keep your pets cool have a pet pad have a pet pool keep them with water um here were some weird little fairy gnomes fairy doors obviously fairy doors were a big thing put it in your trees and stuff like that and all the little decorations they had 
I don't have a garden, I have a community garden, so I don't have a garden I can really use. And these were the little pet memorials that they had. It says, love you to the moon and back with the little pet print. And then you got this one on my heart um, and all that for the animals. Stationary, more stationary than you can shake a fist at. And then they had this cool barbecue section. Like I said, I have a community garden, but I can have a barbecue out the back. They had these hot dog trays, fries trays. They did burger trays that say bon appetit. Um, especially if you don't want to have to wash up after a barbecue, these could be handy. They're obviously not eco-friendly as such, but they are made from cardboard, so obviously they can be um, recycled. Aprons, disposable trays, barbecue, fire lighters, everything you need for your barbecue needs. And then I found these. These were kind of cool. These are meal planners. So if you want to do your weekly shop and plan your meals and have it on the fridge so people can stop asking you what's for tea, what's for tea every day, you can put that on your fridge. Back in the day when my kids used to come home from school and they'd go, Mom, what's for tea? You'd go, go look on the fridge, it'll say. Because you get sick of asking, especially when you've got loads of kids and then your partner would come home and ask what's for tea and you'd just lose the will to live asking the same questions. Here, these were really cute little Disney Mickey tops, 18 to 24 months. It's all good. They were so cute that it was in black and white. Um, plenty of glass cases, which I need because of my glasses. So we're nearing the end of the video. So if you're enjoying this video, do remember give it a big thumbs up. These are all the outdoor pool toys. So you've got pool rings, paddling pools, bucket and spade and everything. Get out there, enjoy the sun while it lasts, because in the UK, there's never a time frame for the sun. Um, plenty of plants, everything you'll need to go out there and have fun. Um, with the fact that COVID restrictions have virtually lifted, you should get out there and enjoy it. Um, we've been in for a year. These were quite cool. These were dipped cones, so they were already dipped in chocolate. And then you had just the plain cones that weren't dipped in chocolate, so depending if you're a chocolate dipper or not you could get your cones um basically everything was kind of summer orientated in this part little camping stuff holiday stuff passport holders and that kind of thing don't forget your sun cream don't forget to keep protecting yourself in this heat drink water sun cream um really cool little storage bits and everything to make your summer just that little bit extra and I will hopefully see you for another Poundland walkthrough very soon. Take care and thanks for watching all. Bye.